do this now. <laughs> oh. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> you just totally stood in the blast. <laughs> Hello, friends. My name is Brandon Dayton. I am your humble narrator. This is Trap Dead Lockdown. And this is Playintosh. Say That's hello me. to the people. That's me. <laughs> <laughs> we, uh, we're here in a different capacity today. We're usually just here to derp around, but today we're going to try and get a review done. I'm going to talk more about the gameplay side because I do reviews regularly. And Playintosh is going to talk more about the aesthetic side because he has a design or is working on his design degree. He used to be the radio's DJ before he got arrested a few years back. A few that years bastard back. bastard murdered some folk. <laughs> some weird cult shit he had going on in that place. Weird cult so shit. Broadcasting. Weird cult shit. I have they no were clue. Kool -Aid. As you may have noticed, I've been busy here taking care of this shitload of bodies. <laughs> <laughs> I have no time to figure out who the fuck's talking on the radio. <laughs> You better have a word with Charlie Hanson. <laughs> He's locked up in the- Who's on the radio? It's Rick D's in the morning! Nice, I'm level 3. Oh, they're all over me. I got a- I got a skill point somewhere. Oh yeah, skill tree. Skill points! Skill points! <laughs> oh wait, there's a hobo! Ugh. Right there. <laughs> hobo, I need to talk to you about stuff. Oh, it's a shop. Bat with nails, knife, axe, old shotgun, hand axe. I want the chainsaw. I'm saving for the chainsaw. Oh fuck. Oh it's it's a boss. Boss fight. Boss fight. Oh <laughs> no. Hype it up. <laughs> oh my god, I almost died. I had to eat food. Okay. Oh my god. Yes. <laughs> uh, I almost I almost died. I got a bronze ring. The NPCs are usually too too stupid to to be escorted. Dogs, dogs. Oh god. Let me hate. chop some dog meat. Oh, okay, it looks like fucking left click melee is an overhead swing and right click is fucking wide swing. <laughs> I have no idea. Oh, fuck. I my my I myself have problems figuring out how the game works. Yeah, I don't I, like the skill points, the skill tree and stuff. It's just kind of unclear. Yeah. Die! Oh, I'm level eight already. We're kicking some ass, bro. Yep. Shut your mouth. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> okay. All of that. <laughs> Okay. I don't really want to go over there now. <laughs> There's a sniper or something. Snipers! Snipers! Oh my god. Keep oh moving. god. Snipers and zombies. Snipers and zombies, dude. Shoot them damn guys. Why you want to shoot us, bro? We're living. <laughs> I don't understand your logic. It's Daisy. We're friendly. Stop. <laughs> We're friendly, bro. Stop shooting. <laughs> Let's hide oh, in here. <laughs> oh, good. Ooh. We've got a love shack. The love shack is a little lonely. <laughs> well, we yeah, I can, can switch. Get I'm gonna put love my shack. Stuff in... I got Baby a crossbow. love shack. <laughs> 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 okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm scared of you right now. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to expect. <laughs> I don't have like I'm running on no sleep. It's just uh, I'm going crazy. Oh, Where'd you go? A chainsaw. Oh, you're here. You you you're gonna buy it? Yep. <laughs> Do it. Got to try out this chainsaw here. I look so badass. <laughs> <laughs> I look like a retard, but that's fine. I got a chainsaw! <laughs> <laughs> love Shack! <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's fucking lo Love Shacks everywhere. <laughs> wow, I'm doing a lot of damage. Yeah. Look at this fuck. Who do you think you are? I got a chainsaw, son. <laughs> chainsaw! Mm. Wait, aren't prunes plums? 
What the fuck? Um, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're the American here. You should know. <laughs> I know. I, I think prunes are plums. I'm going to go with that as my final answer. You need to place a bomb here what again. What the fuck? What, what is this bomb stuff? Where am I getting these bombs? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't have another one. Oh, there. The very bottom of the inventory. Let me blow up my Just face Just bomb again. it. Boom! Oh, luck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Bomber Man! <laughs> derka derka! Bum, 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 bum. Da, 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 da. Just Checkpoint. walking around uh -oh. in the factory hall. Look at this asshole. <laughs> there's nothing in the end. They made us go zigzag no, all the way. And there's nothing. Nice. <laughs> I fucking ate a hamburger at the last minute. Um, Explosive. Are you, what are you... You timed out out of my team speak, by the way, right now. I did? <laughs> yeah, for a bit. Oops. I couldn't hear you. Oopsie doops. I cannot go. I can't go further. <laughs> I've been infected. There's a there's two boxes on on in my way. Oh here's a gate. Gates are load screens. Oh, it's loading for me. Cool. Like I'm suppo I'm ah. supposed to be an assassin. I, I don't really feel like an assassin, but... <laughs> yeah. I, f I feel kind of generic, I don't know. Clunky UI, and it doesn't oh, pause God. when you go to the, f the fucking screen. Yeah. It's a pain in the ass. Where's the explosive? I have no idea. I don't... S what? <laughs> uh, there's no fucking explosives. Yeah, I don't have it either, and I I can't even do it. It says host uh, guest cannot perform this action, so you gotta do it. And it's not in my inventory. I just read off everything in my inventory. Mm-hmm. And uh, I'm kind of done, anyways. Okay. So, friends, this has been Trapped Dead Lockdown. I do hope you've enjoyed some of the gameplay and funny moments that we had together. I think that oh, this yeah. game is relatively generic however it will definitely find its niche for fans of uh, action adventure and particularly zombie action adventures so i'm going to talk about the gameplay for a second and then i can let play and tosh get into the aesthetic side and uh oh, yeah yeah that's his gerb <laughs> can't wait <laughs> so the controls i feel are pretty clunky uh, the UI could use a lot of help, and using the escape screen to get to the skills and all that is weird. Like, I'd really prefer just a hotkey bind. So I've given the controls a 3 out of 10. The fun factor is uh, pretty significant here. I had a pretty fun time bashing zombies with my buddy, as I always do. And oh, this, yeah. this game mostly delivered in that fact, except uh, some game-breaking bugs like not being able to get the explosives uh on the door which and it it does get a little repetitive yeah it's definitely repetitive and kind of mind-numbing after just an hour or i guess two hours yeah so um the fun factor i decided to give a seven out of ten the difficulty is i guess there's a bit of a curve but it levels off kind of quick i will give the difficulty a five out of ten Definitely with two people, it's a 5 out of 10. It might be a little higher uh, if you're being swarmed by yourself, though. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and um, the replayability, I might see myself coming back to this game. Possibly, perhaps. I've decided to give the replayability a 4 out of 10. Yeah. Innovation, it's not uh, particularly innovative, so I've decided to give it a 3 out of 10 for innovation. Oh yeah, my designer view. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm not going to be I'm not going to be that posh. The but, world's uh... dying to know. <laughs> <laughs> well, the graphics uh generally it's it's okay. Um I would probably wouldn't expect more in terms of graphics from a game like this. It's a uh, it's just decent. Not nothing really special, nothing really that bad. 
it feels like it's it's doing its job so job okay so uh for the graphics i would give something like six out of ten it's, it's not the best but it does a decent job regarding the game mechanics and stuff so it will do yeah it's an isometric 2d basically view and in, in, in a 3d space so you can't really do much <laughs> it is what it is yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> music Music haven't really striked my ears during the gameplay. I, I can't really recall any like track that would really get into my head or something. It's mostly ambient. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it's again, it's decent. It's average. It's something I would expect from every game to have. So, I am giving it five out of ten. Uh, sound effects and voice acting. Yeah, sound effects again, absolutely average. Just normal sound effects. I do like that you get like blood splatter sounds and then head smashes sound and stuff it kind of feels like you're really like getting into the zombie and you're really like <laughs> pulling it into pieces <laughs> but yeah otherwise it's really average and um the voice acting i think that's that's one of actually the fun parts of the game i think it makes the game kind of kind of funny the the voices are really different and for example your character is like this really deep, huge voice, yeah. and it feels kind of funny. <laughs> and you sound so, like yeah. Christian Bale. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so thanks, actually, to the voice acting, I'm going to increase this score. Otherwise, it would be probably low. So I'm going to get, like, 7 out of 10. The story, I think there are definitely some plot holes. It feels kind of cheap, maybe. It's. Uh, I that would goes just along say with it's the B movie thing from the dialogue, though. Too. Yeah, that's that's what I wanted to say. It's just a B movie. It's kind of it's a plot that probably uh, my my little brother could write, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> it's it's nothing really special. But then again, if you're into this kind of thing, you're probably gonna enjoy it because if you like B movies, then you probably are looking for a game like this and you're looking for a plot like this, and uh, of course there's also this. Uh, this sort of uh, positive positive way to look at it, and that is you can just fire up this game, don't worry about the plot too much, just clear your head, kill a few <laughs> zombies, then turn it off and go do your thing, and then come back to it when you feel like it again. So uh, the story, I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10, a little above the average. Level design, again, totally, totally average, totally okay. I would say like it's it's decently themed. Uh, I have a feeling like I'm a playing a kind of depressive game, like it's a zombie apocalypse and stuff. It does feel a little too over designed here and there, like the the scene in the warehouse where you have to do, have to go zigzag to the yeah. end. It just it felt uh, kind of annoying and uh, maybe too much. And there were some other parts in the playthrough that we did. That I felt like were unnecessary designed into the game. Yeah, just to uh, kind of make you play longer for no reason. Yeah, <laughs> and I kind of I kind of hate that when the game does it. So totally. I am I'm giving a total average score of five out of ten for this. So friends, Plan Toshiba and I have come to our verdict, and we have decided that this game is completely average, maybe slightly slightly above, uh, with a score of fifty one. Out of 100. Yeah. This has been... What the fuck is this? <laughs> <laughs> it's so average you forget the name. <laughs> I know. It's, it's that good. <laughs> this has been I... Trap Dead Lockdown. That's what it's like, called. Like, I'm going to be honest. I forgot it too. <laughs> I know. Ugh. Trap Dead Lockdown is what it is. It's 51 out of 100. If you like uh, action adventure games and zombie games and hack and slash, then go ahead. You know, some people do like clicking a mouse for uh, an extended period of time, but it's just really not my flavor of tea, I think. So, would you like Inc to say anything? Increase carpal to... tunnel. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> it's horrible. So, would you like to say anything to the subscribers before we say goodbye, Plandosh? Um, just. Give it a shot if you think you would be interested in a game like this. Definitely stay with Brandon Dayton and his awesome channel. Yay! And uh, that's that's all I want to say to your viewers. <laughs>
Well, thank you for that. I hope that you guys will join me for whatever we decide to do next. This has been Trapped Dead Lockdown. I remembered. <laughs> I've been Brendan Dayton, your <laughs> humble narrator. See you next time. Bye! Woohoo! <laughs> One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again.